All right, yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and today I wanted to do sort of a casual style ramble, talk about theory crafting video. A lot of words, right? I wanted to talk about a mechanic in Pokemon that is kind of suboptimal, but I think could be really, really good and really, really interesting. And hopefully, there's so many options for it. I'm gonna get to the point. We're gonna be talking about secret bases today in Pokemon, which is very comparable to any sort of player owned house in any other game. I'm gonna be drawing a lot of comparisons to things like Skyrim, things like RuneScape, more of a multiplayer format, which obviously makes a lot more sense and fits for a better comparison. Now, this is something that I've talked about on stream recently, but I thought the topic and the conversation was interesting enough that I could make a video about it and transfer it over to this sort of format. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this kind of conversation. Leave lots of thoughts and feedback down in the comments down below. The point of this is to open up discussion and have conversation about what we could change, what we could do for the better, for the betterment of Pokemon. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. It's very important for this type of video. Make sure to like this video if you do enjoy it and subscribe if you want to see more like it. But let's go ahead and get into it. So first things first, if you don't know, secret bases are pretty bare bones at the moment. You use the Abitla move, Secret Power, to open up a hole in the wall uh, in the Hoenn region only, I believe. Uh, and then you're able to go into a little hole in the wall. And you can decorate it via some things gathered around the world. You could even buy, um, buy a little furniture and buy little upgrades and such from Pokemarts and other, I believe, battle, maybe the Battle Tower and stuff. You basically buy some stuff to decorate it, and that's it. There's not a whole lot of pragmatic use for it. Um, there's not really, even in my opinion, there's not really many good vanities for it. Um, and we're going to talk about some upgrades that could be really interesting for it. So first things first, there's a couple of things we can talk about. We can talk about pragmatic benefits, which would be nice, but you don't even need that probably in my opinion. One of the best and most interesting suggestions that I heard about it was just being able to use the home, the PC, the secret base, as a way to show off your achievements in Pokemon. One of the saddest things and most frustrating things about Pokemon is that there's not a whole lot of benefit to do grinds and not a whole lot of benefit to actually achieve things because you're not able to show them off to other players that well, aside from your shiny Pokemon, your shiny follower sprite, and your vanities, which is a lot to be fair, but I think it'd be really, really cool to be able to show off a little bit more of that within the house, and that would give reason for people to take screenshots or people to come visit your house in game i'm gonna keep calling it house even though it's a secret base just know when i say that's what i mean um for example a really good example is legendary statues there's not a huge benefit or reason to go pursue and catch legendaries in pokemo i've never caught the legendaries in pokemo if you don't know the legendaries act in a sort of king of the hill style battle there's only one and someone has to catch it and once you catch it you get it logged into your pokedex but that's it you don't keep it it gets taken away from you very quickly that's it, it the only benefit is logging but which is a cool which is a cool thing right it's a cool achievement to get a lot of pokedex but i wish there was a way to portray that to people besides from screenshots right show people hey like you know i i went through the effort to go catch these legendaries um think of something similar if you do know of runescape something similar to the the boss sort of displays in your poh um on runescape where after you defeat the boss certain times, you get an item called a jar and you put that in your house and you essentially display like, hey, I killed this boss a ton um, enough to get this specific item, um, yada, yada. So being able to display, hey, I've gone after this achievement, I've done this thing, I think is a really powerful thing. And I think it's really interesting. Um, and it adds more end game, late game content. Once again, which is something I've been talking about a ton recently, how important adding reason and achievements and late game content is for the game but anyways that's one of the options legendary statues another one is extra pc space or pc storage now it's not enough to just put your pc in the house because there's no reason for you to go to your secret base or your house versus a pc because it's just out of the way right so why would you ever go to your secret base when you can just fly to uh, an actual pc right uh, a healing center um there has to be some sort of benefit so i think Aside from PC expansion boxes, I would love to see them add some sort of maybe upgraded version of a PC that you could only build within your personal house that you can then use uh, to store more Pokemon. And maybe you can only access those Pokemon if you're at your, your house's PC. I think that's pretty interesting. I think it's a really, really cool option. That was a fantastic suggestion from a viewer. Um, another thing would be an egg incubator. Egg hatching in Pokemon is extremely slow, even with um donator status and a flame body pokemon now we don't have to make it incredibly faster we don't have to like fucking have the time right but maybe maybe 
there was like an egg incubator zone in your house that would make egg hatching like 10% faster, right? I think that's totally balanced. I think it's totally fine. I'm not asking them to make any sort of broken mechanics that make secret bases unbelievably like required and needed, but I think there should be. It's tough because you have to have the benefits be good enough to where people actually want to use them. That's the current situation that we're at where there's really no reason to go to your secret base and no one really cares about decorating it. I think it's such an interesting concept and such an interesting part of the game that I would love to see fleshed out a lot more. Uh, now, obviously, I don't know enough about the coding and everything behind it, so maybe it's not possible. I don't know, right? I'm just having a conversation. Um, someone also mentioned EV training options and EV training, like sort of similar to, I guess, like, like interacting with and talking. I, I don't know if I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's fine if it's an option. Uh, kind of, that one's less cool to me, less interesting to me, but maybe people would like that. So, you know what? I'm, I'm okay with it, obviously. Um, a huge thing for me is I would love to see, I don't know if it's possible, I would love to see you be able to upgrade the size of your secret base or maybe add a ladder either going up or down and having like multiple floors. Currently, the secret base is really, really small. Maybe I'm just in the minority. I, I feel like it feels really, really small. I would love to be able to see an upgrade ability either to just increase the size or just add rooms i think that would be super super interesting and that alone would add like a huge benefit um to be able to store more stuff um and just show off more stuff i don't think there's enough showing off that you can do in pokemon funnily enough with it being an mmo um and that kind of goes into i would love to see the ability to be able to right click someone and like inspect them i think that would be a really but that's a different video but that'd be really interesting um mechanic as well to see added there's so many beautiful things we could add to this game and now i do have some other things i want to talk about that aren't necessarily related to the secret bases but the last benefit that i i have thought of we thought of on my stream for secret bases would be pvp trophies i love the idea of being able to show off certain trophy ranks uh that you achieved in pvp let's say you achieved top 10 in ou right that'd be really cool to be able to show off a top 10 trophy in your poh and that would also be another benefit to achieving that right let's say you've achieved you know 600 plus elo 700 plus elo whatever it may be i think it'd be really really cool to show off more achievements once again fitting the same sort of theme in your player owned house in your secret base now the last two things I want to talk about in this video, I might save more of these ideas for a future video, but this is something that I've been I've been asking them to add since 2017 or so, around the same time as RU slash P. I've been talking about this. I personally, and maybe I, this is just me, I personally would absolutely love a guild hall or a team hall or a team base. I think that would be one of the most interesting things to be added to the game I don't, I don't know about you guys but the the most i have ever felt connected to a team in any game was in spiral knights and i didn't even play that game that much but in spiral knights they had a beautiful guild hall you would hop in there you would slash sit around your teammates and just run like a little campfire have little conversations it was really cute and it really adds for a really bonding experience having a guild hall that everyone can work towards to decorate um, and just have a common location. There's already a very general consensus in game in Pokemon that people have sort of a headquarters. People have sort of a, a main base, but not everyone, like, I don't even know what like my team's main base is. And I love my team and I'm very active in it, but I couldn't tell you our main base, right? Like no one, it's not really active enough nowadays or in terms of people actually interacting with that. But a main base would be like Vermilion City Upstairs Channel 1 or like Celadon City Channel 3. Um, uh, let's say like, the, you know, the, the, yeah, the shopping mall Unova Channel 4. People, people usually designate a sort of uh, headquarters in Pokemon just around the world. But the issue is people can infiltrate. People can jump in front of team photos. People can interrupt team tournaments. Like it gets really messy. Like a guild hall would totally bypass all of this, clean things up a ton um, and just makes things... A lot more interesting. I think it's a it's a huge bonding experience. Once again, I think a guild hall really does bring together a group of people much more than you would realize. And I think if you've ever experienced a guild hall or a team hall in any sort of game, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I think it'd be beautiful. And with alongside a guild hall comes a guild PC where you would be able to store Pokemon, store competitive Pokemon, store whatever. Let's say your teammates want to borrow an OU team or want to borrow some Pokemon uh, for an upcoming tournament, maybe a team tournament. It'd be a really easy way to share sort of access to that. Now, teams in the past, I don't know how many of them do this nowadays, teams in the past have had a team account that you're allowed people like log on to and like store Pokemon or store Pokey in, on that account uh, to be able to give out for team events like prizes and stuff. So a guild PC would solve all of that as opposed to 
just having a different account, right? So I think a guild hall and a guild PC would be fantastic things, which solve a lot of the current issues and would add a lot more bonding to the game. Just my personal thoughts, my personal opinions. Everything I've talked about today, I think it's just, you know, hearsay and just conversation, just stuff that I thought was interesting enough that I thought was worth bringing up to the community and worth bringing up to talk about. Um, and I would love to see, once again, your guys' feedback on this stuff and things that you guys want to see in the game, uh, especially related to secret bases and such, would be awesome to see in the comments down below. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little ramble, enjoyed this little video. Make sure to leave a like on it if you did. Make sure to dislike it if it wasn't really your style. That's totally okay as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon uploads. Check out the streams here Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. EST where we usually kind of discuss topics like this and discuss ways to make the game better as well as just answering tons of questions and money making tips and etc etc on stream the discord link is down below if you want to join that and if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel youtube memberships twitch primes twitch subs paypal venmo all that stuff's links down below appreciate all you guys who do above and beyond and do that so thank you all so much for watching thank you for your time have a great day and i'll see you guys later hopefully we'll see some sick updates to pokemo in 2023